Hi, my name is George, and in this video, we're going to talk about Ahrefs Starter Plan. It's a new $29 per month option that's perfect for anyone starting out with SEO or wanting to explore Ahrefs without spending too much. I'll explain what's included, how it compares to other plans, and who it's best suited for. By the end of this video, you will know if the starter plan is the right fit for you or if you should consider something else. Let's get started. What is the Ahrefs Starter Plan? The Starter Plan is one of the latest additions to Ahrefs pricing options. It's specifically designed for people who are new to SEO and want a low-cost way to explore Ahrefs tools. Think of it as an upgrade from the free Ahrefs Webmaster tools, which only gives you access to basic features like monitoring backlinks and site audits. The Starter Plan takes things further by introducing more advanced tools like keyword research and rank tracking. At just $29 per month, the Starter Plan is the most affordable paid plan Ahrefs offers. It's meant for light usage, which makes it ideal for people working on small projects, individual websites, or those just learning how to improve their SEO. If you've ever been curious about what Ahrefs can do but didn't want to commit to the higher price plans, this plan is a good way to test the waters. What's included in the Starter Plan? The Starter Plan gives you access to some of Ahrefs' most popular tools. These tools help you understand your website's performance, find keyword opportunities, track rankings, and fix technical SEO issues. You'll get access to tools like the SEO Dashboard, Site Explorer, Keywords Explorer, Site Audit, Rank Tracker, and the Ahrefs SEO Toolbar. The SEO Dashboard is like your command center. It provides an overview of your website's performance, showing you things like backlinks, traffic, and keyword rankings. Site Explorer lets you dive deeper into these metrics. You can see where your website's traffic is coming from, what backlinks you've gained, and how you compare to competitors. Now, one of the big additions in the starter plan compared to the free Ahrefs Webmaster tools is Keywords Explorer. This tool is perfect for finding new keyword opportunities. It shows you search volumes, keyword difficulty scores, and related keywords to help you create content that ranks higher in search engines. You also get Site Audit, which scans your website for technical SEO issues. This can include problems like broken links, missing meta tags, or slow page speeds. Fixing these issues can help your website perform better. Rank Tracker is another valuable tool, allowing you to monitor up to 50 keywords and track how they perform over time. Finally, the Ahrefs SEO Toolbar is a browser extension that gives you quick access to metrics while browsing the web. The plan is credit-based, meaning you get 100 credits per month to use across the tools. You consume these credits whenever you generate reports or pull new data. However, tools like Site Audit and Rank Tracker don't use these credits since they have their own separate limits. How does the starter plan compare to other plans? To understand if the starter plan is the right fit, it's helpful to compare it to the free Ahrefs Webmaster tools and the Light Plan, which costs $129 per month. Let's break it down. If you've only used the free Ahrefs Webmaster tools, the starter plan is a big upgrade. While the free plan gives you limited access to site audits and bank link monitoring, the starter plan opens up more advanced tools like Keyword Explorer and Rank Tracker. For example, with Keywords Explorer, you can find keyword ideas and see how difficult it is to rank for them. This is not available in the free plan. When compared to the light plan, the starter plan is more limited but still offers plenty for beginners. The light plan gives you five times more credits, 500 compared to 100, and lets you track up to 750 keywords instead of just 50. It also allows you to access six months of historical data while the starter plan only provides one month. Reports in the light plan can include up to two and a half thousand rows of data, while the starter plan limits you to 250 rows. So if you're managing multiple websites or need in-depth data, the light plan might be worth the extra costs. Who should choose the starter plan? Now, the starter plan is ideal for people who are new to SEO or working on small scale projects. If you're a blogger, a solopreneur, or a small business owner managing one or two websites, this plan is a great fit. It gives you all the tools you need to monitor your rankings, find keyword opportunities, and fix basic SEO issues, all without breaking the bank. For example, if you're just starting a blog and want to grow your traffic, the Startup Plan can help you identify the keywords you should target. 
It can also show you which pages on your website need improvements and help you track your progress in search engine rankings. However, if you're running multiple websites, working on large projects, or need more detailed data, you might outgrow the starter plan quite quickly. In that case, the light plan or even the higher tier standard plan would be a better choice. These plans offer more credits, let you track more keywords, and provide access to additional features. What are the limitations of the starter plan? While the starter plan is an affordable and beginner-friendly option, it does come with some limitations. First, the plan only includes 100 credits per month, which might not be enough if you're running a lot of reports. Reports are also capped at 250 rows, so you won't get as much detailed data compared to higher tier plans. Another limitation is the lack of historical data. The starter plan only gives you access to one month of historical data, whereas the light plan provides six months. This can make it harder to track long-term trends. The plan also doesn't allow for any add-ons. You can't purchase extra credits or additional user accounts. This keeps the plan simple and affordable, but might feel restrictive as your needs grow. Finally, you can't downgrade from a higher plan to the starter plan. So make sure you pick the right plan from the start. Is the starter plan worth it? If you're just starting out with SEO or working on a single website, the starter plan is absolutely worth it. For $29 per month, you get access to powerful tools that can help you improve your website's performance, find keyword opportunities, and track your rankings. It's a significant step up from the free Ahrefs Webmaster tools and a great way to get started without committing to the higher priced plans. Now, that being said, the starter plan isn't for everyone. If you're managing multiple websites, need detailed reports, or plan to use Ahrefs heavily, you might find the light plan or a higher tier option more suitable. But for beginners or light users, the starter plan is a fantastic choice. So in conclusion, Ahrefs starter plan is a great way to explore what the platform has to offer without a big commitment. It's affordable, beginner friendly, and gives you access to some of Ahrefs best tools. Whether you're a blogger, small business owner, or just starting out with SEO, this plan is a solid option. If you're still unsure, give it a try and see how it works for you. And if your needs grow, upgrading to a higher plan is always an option. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.